The construction of the Kampala flyover project commenced in May 2019, diverting numerous road users to alternative routes. As of today, the 10th of January 2024, significant process has been made and it is estimated that the project is at least 93% complete. According to UNRWA spokesperson Alan Sempewa, the remaining tasks are expected to be finalized before the NAM summit that is kicking off next week on Monday. The project is nearly complete, as you can see, and uh, the rest that we're doing, uh, road marking, um, signal, uh, rather signage, ensuring that the road is safe for all road users, uh, beautification, the road has been open to traffic. Where we are standing right now, behind you, you will see the pedestrians are already utilizing the pedestrian bridges. Down here, you can see all nature of traffic utilizing the road. So even before NAM, 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 NAM has found us ready. Sempebwa has further disclosed that Ugandan government has made a substantial financial investment in collaboration with the Japanese government to materialize the construction of this flyover. Sorry. Uh, yes, approximately 330 billion Ugandan shillings has been spent on this project and this has been uh, made possible by the government of Japan and that of Uganda. Mm. Sempewa emphasized that the general public should not be concerned about security matters as significant measures have been taken to guarantee their safety. We are lighting the entire flyover corridor. We hope that should guarantee the safety of the road users on this road. Secondly, there are surveillance cameras and the more are going to be added and installed. Um, more again, we are in touch with the security agencies to try and guarantee the safety of road users. So there will be constant monitoring and the patrolling of this corridor. We engaged several engineers and workers at the site who have provided with us the updates on the process of the project. However, according to some of the workers involved in the installation of the pavers, it will take them an additional two months to complete the task. As the process is going on uh, rather well, uh, considering the fact that already as we have gone around, we have completed the pedestrian uh, lighting for Queensway, Pedestrian Bridge, uh, ShopRite, and uh, over there, uh, Chivoli Pedestrian Bridge. Right now, we are installing, as you can see, my colleagues over there, and as you can see, the lights here, uh, we are doing the tunnel lighting, tunnel lighting uh, system. Umulimo gucha alimu unji sigu wa kugwa katina ye, mumaso ndawoze miezi nge satu ebiri, gui nzoku wanga gui na ugutuse. What we wanted, but uh, as we see, they will find us, yes, working. A few of the citizens encountered utilizing the flyover were greatly impressed by the government's accomplishments as they are now relieved from the burdens of the traffic congestion, insecurity and the accidents that affected them in the previous years. <laughs> Then they were around the Chinonga farm and took Chatuan disorder, Oxide, a cock of oxide, the real good oxide and other. Never changed Chironji. Well, fully double launch, actually, but they see Chiravanco and to Walla Lona Nanga Funa Saxon of Aneda. But one of our own modules of company chance, if they were called Dave, Chifana Chitanga, Dava Chironji, you know, and Uganda, but Jacen Mirizam. Government <laughs> Thank you.